position now. Yeah, I think that if, if Hunter now just uses his uses his head and not his heart and just settles down, he can win the fight. He's just got to apply the pressure. Fascinatingly poised. Pickering's early two knockdowns, 10-8 rounds, but Hunter, Jim, right back in it. Yeah, and I think the main thing, Hunter has regained his confidence. He has that left hook again, but he's taken this one better. He's got the tactics right. He's letting the punches flow, picking his moments when to attack. There he goes. That's exactly what's needed. Single punches are no good against Pickering. This is ideal. Clusters from Hunter. Strong right hands. Not a massive hitter. Nine inside the distance, but he's started to shake Isham Pickering ever so slightly. And the good news, he's been caught cleanly a couple of times in this round, but he's taken the shots. He seems to be warming to the task. The adrenaline's flowing. So the same punches that floored them early may not have the same effect. Caught so cold with those left hooks at the beginning that Michael Hunter is beginning to get into a groove and use those tactics of throwing so many punches. I mean, he's got a jerky rhythm, but he's difficult to fight. That's what he has to do, but Pickering still, he's lost that comforting look, that confident look. He's trying to take it to Hunter now, which is a good plan. He wants to get Hunter onto the back foot if he possibly can. But that's not his natural style of boxing. The fans are starting to believe. Well, Pickering is the one at this moment who has that unhappy look on his face. He does not like this kind of action. Again, he lands the punch, but no problem from Hunter. Left hook from Hunter, trying to back Pickering up into his own corner. Do you think he's physically stronger, Hunter? Well, Pickering looked physically stronger, but I think he looks as though he's struggling with the pace. Pickering is the one up close who wants to clinch. He doesn't want to exchange punches up close. He does not like this. I thought Hunter would have a problem catching Pickering cleanly to the head, but that's not the case. Pickering's defences are poor. Not comfortable with this style of fight. Doesn't quite know what to do here. Aren't the camouflage trunks out for Michael the Hunter with his uh, whirling dervish type of style? Looks like he won't be denied. Wants this, wants this badly. And he is the one in this round who looks to be in the driving seat. He's living in the last one in most of these exchanges. It's a close round, but he's the one who looks that little bit more in control. Let him go, Summit, and then when he's done it... Former light middleweight and uh, frenetic trainer, Neil Fannin. He's got his boy in shape, hasn't he? Yep, and I think Hunter has shown a lot of character. I mean, a couple of disasters finding himself on the floor. Oh, with beautiful left hooks, but he's come through that, he's put it behind him, he's forgotten all about it, and he's really performing now. Packed to the rafters here in the Barra Hall. Famous old venue since the 1860s. And Michael Hunter's aiming to make it a night they will not forget in the northeast by capturing the European and Commonwealth belts from the talented switch hitter Isham Pickering, who started so well, but just has been drawn in, and it's given the Hunter supporters some hope. Pickering trying to change tactics now, trying to outsmart Hunter, trying to keep things at long range, draw little mistakes from him. He's trying to box and move, bundles Hunter down. John Keane says no knockdown. Yeah, Pickering trying to slow things down a little bit now. Backing off, trying to use the ring. Trying just to leave Hunter's punches falling short.
Well, Hunter seems to be the one getting told off all the while, but a lot of the time, Pickering is the one who's holding up, for, up close. Hunter maybe just approaching his peak. British title level last 18 months, but Isham Pickering had his British featherweight title way, way back. His first shot in 98. So he has that experience, Jim. Yeah, and he's using it in this round. He's not allowing Hunter to get set to amount the, the multiple punch attacks. Hunter can only get single punches off. Pickering's dealing with those, just confusing him a little bit with his movement and popping the jabs out. Not dramatic stuff to watch, but fairly effective and at the same time giving himself a little breather. Hunter trying everything, especially when Pickering is close, throwing all sorts of shots, trying to land even if some hit the gloves. Well, we're into the last minute here. This is what Hunter really wants to try and make a mark because he spent the first couple of minutes really missing the target. Pickering trying to change things. Obviously didn't like the type of action he was being drawn into, trying to come up with something different now. A lot more movement. Box and move tactics. More Brendan Ingle than he was two or three rounds ago. But yeah, when you get drawn in again, though? I have Pickering stealing this round, but I tell you, he does not have that look of confidence that he had earlier. It looks to me as though he sees this has been a long, hard struggle, and he's just trying to nick a couple of rounds without exerting himself. Saturday, that is Saturday, November the 26th. It's Ricky Hatton against Carlos Mauser, a special event coming to Sky Box Office. Bonus, 10 seconds. This is proving pretty special too. We're through halfway. It is indeed Paul Long awaiting. And living up to expectations. Good trade fight. The camouflage trunks and the black and green of the 27-year-old Michael Hunter who is uh, putting some of these rounds back, Jim, but you gave the last to Isham Pickering. Yeah, I thought he stole the last, but you can see the disastrous rounds one and two. I mean, both two-point rounds, he gave himself a mountain to climb, but he's, he's, back, he's heading back up that mountain. He's got himself right back into things here. Shown real grit, heart, desire to pick himself up off the floor twice in front of his home fans. Bit disjointed from Pickering there. Yeah, but I think he felt he wanted to make an impression again. Didn't so, work, now he's on the back foot once again. And maybe a cut somewhere for Pickering. Left eye, possibly. We'll get a closer look at that. But there's some damage to the European and Commonwealth champion. And that has spurred Hunter on as both men trade. I'm not sure if it's on the nose, it looks to me on the bridge of the nose. It's... Left hand causing the nose to bleed, possibly something inside the left eye, but there is blood damage for Isham Pickering. Well, again, Hunter has Pickering fighting the kind of fight he does not like. He's looking to, to clinch up close now. Just backing off there, Pickering. Hunter is really showing character tonight. I wasn't sure he was ready for this step up, but he's ready, he is well ready. Dabbing the nose, Pickering. Coming off that impressive win over in Spain. But he's up against somebody that just has this willpower. Extraordinary. Remi he, reminds me of Paul Ingle, that sort of tenacity. Yeah, yeah, but the amount of punches he's throwing, maybe not the accuracy that Paul Ingle had. But again, Pickering looking very, very uncomfortable. Almost the first one to back off.